Hi Gemini, this is your reading for Soulmate, March 2020. I really hope that you are doing well today. So we are going to have a look, see what's coming through for the third month of 2020. I do also want to mention as well, if you would like to win a free reading with me, please do check out the description box since I do a giveaway every month. And also the, um, the more you sort of comment as well, the more chances you have to enter as well so you know that is a part of the giveaway so um yeah definitely do check out the giveaway um information if you would like to purchase a private paid reading information is also in the description box as well they're done within 24 to 48 hours and the last thing i want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on etsy so there are some new ones on there we have the boost intuition bracelet and we also have the beauty bracelet as well so those are on there and um yeah it's, uh, the beauty one is to do with the klim mantra which actually you can find online as well and it really helps to to boost beauty essentially and for us to find ourselves at times more attractive because sometimes we can have self-esteem issues and things like that so this bracelet really does help with that these are meditated with these are sage they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life we also have you know the love twin flame soulmate bracelets on there and if you want to see the results of how other people have seen results with these bracelets please do check out the etsy shop link will be in the description box below as always and they're handmade by me as well. So you're not going to find these anywhere else. And I think that's the really special part of it. And they're pretty affordable. Free international shipping as well. I just really believe in these bracelets. And of course, seeing the reviews and how so many of these have seen results, it just all completely makes sense. So that's why I really do talk about them is because in every video that I post, there are new viewers. And it's just something I love to do. Creativity. Love it. Gemini, we're going to have a look and see what's coming through in this Soulmate March 2020 reading. Let's see what's coming through for you and your soulmate. Okay, I'm going to start with this many cards for now. So if I just put the deck right here. We are back to my wooden table. I feel really good about my wooden table. And, you know, honestly, I just had a cover on top of it. So if you've been watching sort of my last... Um, videos you'll see that it was it had like a marble cover on top essentially but I just I love the wood I just it's it's the one isn't it no matter what I try and change just come back to this wood it's been here since sort of day one really so we have got the two of wands we've got the wild card we've got the two of cups and if you look at all three of these cards you've got sort of the element of two right where you've got two here you've got two here you've got two here so there is this very very strong element of two and that's really what I'm seeing for you and your soulmate is that it's almost like things are just coming together things are becoming much more balanced and much more stable and that's exactly what what these cards are showing us stable in the sense that your soulmate as well is much more they're much more aware of the connection they're definitely not hiding away or shying away from it they're they're quite it's almost like they're looking out of a window and they're, they're ready to, to accept whatever's out there and whatever they're feeling in regards to you. And that's what I see here. This is about looking into, into the horizon, not being so, I guess, narrow-minded in your own views. This really is about looking out, seeing what's out there in regards to you and actually being quite open to it. Again, not running away. So that's what that card there is really symbolizing in March is that they're very open to this connection. They're willing to try to understand it willing to try to understand, willing to, tr they're trying, they're willing to be trying to understand it. It's a Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Continuing on to March, you know, communication tends to be a thing. Um, so anyways, that's, that's me trying to communicate with you. The world card here shows structure. It really shows that your soulmate is putting structure into their life. They're definitely becoming much more open to a connection. They're not necessarily con constantly and continuously running away and this also here is showcasing just how they see you they see you really as their world which I think is just beautiful now this really does strike me in many ways as a connection where perhaps the two of you have had something really intense but maybe one person has just been really hot and cold and that very much so I feel is your soulmate but now they're much more balanced they're much more grounded they're much more understanding of the connection and they really do see you as the world and they do think to themselves wow that person really has dealt with me and still given me that all and and to them that means the world to them the world there you go and they see you as the world because of that they want to build a structure and a routine and a, and a nice 
environment with you and that's really coming through. Then you've got the Two of Cups which shows love, this person does love you, they're becoming much more stable and much more to the same page as you are and the same wavelength as you are as well and we've got that there with the angel at the top so it is very beautiful and it is just very, it's very nice. It's very, very nice, and that just shows that things are much, much better flowing right now. Speaking of flow, we've got the Eight of Wands, which shows things really going in um, sort of like a similar direction, um, or same kind of flow. It, it's going in, in the same direction. It's not going different places. It's not chaotic. It's not conflict. This is about things just flowing, going with the flow, letting things balance, and that, again, I think is just a wonderful thing. So the connection is definitely getting stronger between the two of you in March, and also Strength card. This really shows that both of you are becoming stronger within your individual selves. This is about taming fears, it's about feeling strong and confident, and I really do feel that things are just getting better. They're getting better for the long term as well, and even, you know, when I was talking about flow as well, which we have throughout all of these cards got the infinity symbol which is also about the infinity right it just it just goes what else should i say gemini i i just think that this is really beautiful you know gemini is also a sign which is about two and it's about the twins right and it can be about sort of um this and that here and there you know two opinions but more so about the twins um and also it can be about indecisiveness but I have Gemini in my chart, trust me, I, 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 <laughs> that, is a, that is a quality that does come through. But it's not always a bad thing, right? Sometimes we have to weigh things up, so being indecisive can be a very good thing. But what I do feel is that this is really resembling how they see you. And they see you as someone that they can have something really balanced and something very um, good with. Six of Wands. Temperance. I was thinking about this card. I really was when I was thinking about flow and I was thinking about things being balanced and I was t thinking about the element of two. It's, it, that's literally it, isn't it? Temperance is an angel card. It's beautiful. It's absolutely divine. You've also got another angel card with the two of cups there as well. Again, divine. This is a spiritual connection and Temperance here is showing, again, progression, step by step, things getting better. March is really opening up the doors to progression. It's showing that there's something so much more. There's something really solid. There's something really beautiful here on the cards. And the other thing that I'm really seeing as well with Temperance is that, you know, this, this fiery energy is showing so much that's still yet to come in this connection. So there's still so much more. And the Six of Wands shows that victory, celebration, success, there's more to come. And that you're starting out on this sort of path. It feels to me like March is the start of something really amazing. So even though, you know, the two of you could have had, you know, more progression, movement in previous months or, you know, way before, of course it depends, you know, every, every connection is very different. March is like the start of real progression and a sense of celebration as well. That's what I'm seeing. Knight of Wands, lots of attraction, but this is also again about movement in this connection. It's not a connection that is stuck, stagnant and stationary. So look at that, Three of Wands, right? The Three of Wands here also is about the fact that this third month, which is how this card is relating also to the time frame, the third month is bringing bringing movement. Things before this month have been perhaps stuck and stagnant, again stationary. Now there's movement, which we see with the Knight of Wands, right? So you might have been waiting, you might have been wondering, you might have felt like, I don't know what's happening. Well, here's what March is bringing you. Here's what it brings. It brings good things. <laughs> wow. Look at all of those references to, to the number two. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. King of Swords. I definitely see more communication. Um, so Mercury retrograde, uh, even though, you know, Mercury is in retrograde and it can have some issues with communication, like I mentioned. For example, me just trying to communicate with you 
you know, it, <laughs> it can be all over the place. But the other thing is, is that the Mercury retrograde really does strengthen communication, especially in spiritual connections. It kind of can go two ways, but what I'm seeing for you and your soulmate, this is about an increase in communication. Queen of Cups is about feeling quite stable in the situation. So I think that emotionally you will feel pretty good about where things are and how things are headed as I'm literally losing my voice. And the sun here is about growth, growth, opportunity, warmth, positivity, and happiness in the connection as well. So that's what we're seeing here. And it's pretty special. It is very, very special. So this is your reading, Gemini. And if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, um, my bracelets, which are on Etsy, Patreon as well. If you guys are interested in um, checking out exclusive content that I don't post anywhere else, please do head over to my Patreon. It's a little community and family and it would mean the world to me. So take care everyone and yeah, that is, that is it. <laughs> Bye.